Hey everybody, so in today's video we're going to talk about wireframe editing tools. Uh, in the last video we talked about how you can use Create 2D and the common uh, drawing functions here like rectangles and lines and arcs in order to create your design. So kind of like what we did before, we have a rectangle here. Uh, what I'm going to do again is use the line parallel like we did the last time and create some reference geometry from here to here. Uh, we'll use the arc menu and uh, I'll type in a radius size here. We'll snap one there, snap one here. Okay, so now we have some some geometry that's on the screen. Now when it comes to editing the geometry there's a number of different things that you might do to edit it. The, the first thing I want to talk about is single entity attributes. So you can go to select, you can select any entity. If you right click once you've selected that entity and go to entity modify, this will bring up all, all the attributes for that entity. Okay, an entity being a point, a line, or an arc. So at this point, if I decided I wanted to use a, a larger radius, I'd be able to do so at this time. So once you've drawn a line or an arc and you wanna modify it, again, you can go to selection mode, you can select on that entity, you can right click, go to Entity Modify, and again, you can adjust the size of that entity, okay? So pretty pretty simple to do. Now, uh, a couple of other things that I wanna talk about. Uh, real quick, I'll just get into some trimming. Uh, it's important to understand, other than modifying the geometry's uh, attributes by selecting and going to Entity Modify, uh, if you're gonna edit geometry, it's likely that you're gonna do this under the Utilities menu. Uh, the utilities menu has all of the, the move and the trim and the break type functions. Uh, one that I want to talk about real quick is called trim screen. Trim screen allows you to select on any entity and then you can just drag that out, out on the screen. This is a very uh, popular uh, feature where you just need to extend out some wireframe geometry to an unknown end position. Okay. In addition to that, you have a variety of different trim commands. Quick trim is also a very popular trim function. This allows you to click on the entity that you want to delete and wherever it intersects with other geometry, it will go ahead and delete that. Okay. There are definitely a few others that are in here. Uh, one of the ones that I want to talk about is the stretch function. Uh, using the stretch function, you can select multiple entities and it gives you the ability to uh, pull them out. So you can uh, drag out their uh, distance to make them longer or taller. Uh, you also have the ability to type in a specific amount. So if you needed the end of uh, a rectangle to be a quarter inch longer, you could select uh, the three entities for the right side like we've done here and then enter the amount that you want that to be longer.